So the final phase is the outflow. How does that happen? Through the mouth, in speech. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Because it's a supernatural infilling, it will be a supernatural outflow. You'll not speak a language you know. You'll speak a language the Holy Spirit gives you, one you've never heard, one you don't understand, one you never learned, and you probably never will understand. How do you know it's right? How do you know it's right? The answer is because you asked for the right thing. See? And God's given you a written guarantee, Luke 11, verses 11 through 13. If you ask for the right thing, you will never get the wrong thing. I'd like you all to say that. If I ask for the right thing, I will never get the wrong thing. Now turn to your neighbor and say to him, if you ask for the right thing, you will never get the wrong thing. Okay, now we're convinced. All right. Now let me just come to Satan's two objections. If I were to ask for hands up here, amongst those who've been baptized in the Spirit, you'd find 90% of the people would put their hands up. Objection number one, the old accuser is right there at, by your side, and when you begin to speak in tongues, he says, that's not real, you're doing it yourself. How many of you, just put your hand up for a moment, you see, it's almost everybody here. <laughs> All right, what's the answer? Now, you need to have the answer. The answer is, you're quite right, Satan, I am doing it myself. I am doing the speaking, but the Holy Spirit is giving me the language. You see, in Acts chapter 2, it says, they all began to speak as the Spirit gave them utterance. The Spirit didn't do the speaking. He gave them the words. They did the speaking. That's why I said to that man who'd tarried 25 years, he'd go to his grave without receiving because he wanted God to do it all. God won't do it all. You do your part, God will do his. But he's not going to make you speak. I've heard people say the Holy Spirit made me do this and that. I don't believe that. The Holy Spirit never makes a child of God do anything. The Apostle Peter said the Holy Spirit bade me go, but he didn't say he made me go. You have a free will, and God will never overrule your free will because he created you that way. You've got to decide to speak, and you can't speak with your mum mum. I've, I've helped so many people. I say, listen, open your mouth, move your tongue, move your lips. Speak articulately. Form every word. You're in the driver's seat. You make the decisions. Your will is the switch. The power is there, but only you can switch it on. All right. So the answer to Satan is, that's right, Satan. I am doing it myself. I'm doing the speaking. The Holy Spirit is giving me the words. The next Objection is, well, how do you know you got the right thing? Sounds very silly. Well, almost any language you don't know sounds silly. I've heard scores of languages I don't know in different parts of the world. They all sound strange to me. An unknown language is strange. But how do you know you got the right thing when we've just told one another? How do we know we got the right thing? Because we asked for the right thing, and God guaranteed we'd never get the wrong thing if we asked for the right thing. Brothers and sisters, the basis of this thing is faith. There is no other way to come to God. He that cometh to God must do what? Believe that God is, that's not enough, that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Now, the only thing it remains to do now is receive. There are some of you who have not been baptized in the Holy Spirit in the sense you don't have this seal. You may have received, but you haven't had the outflow. And there are some of you who had had an outflow, but you wondered whether it was the right thing and your faith or the courage to go on doing it. You've never had a real release. If you would like that full release this morning, here before this meeting closes, I want to help you. I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet. Don't be embarrassed. And when you're standing, I'm going to lead you in a prayer by which you can come to Jesus and receive. Now, we don't have long, so if you want to receive, just stand to your feet now, wherever you are. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's common sense to go to God for the best. Now, there are some of you who are not quite sure whether you've received. You said a few words, your lips moved, but you don't really know. I'd like you to stand too. 
because you can have a clear river. I tell people, remember, this thing isn't a puddle. It's a river. It goes on and on and on. You don't just say, well, in 1974, I spoke in tongues once. That's not the story. That's not a river. That's a puddle. Okay. Any others that want to stand, you do so. Uh, about how long do we have? Can somebody tell me? Five minutes. Okay, that's ample. We can get it all in five minutes. But that's really a super allowance. Okay? It doesn't take long. Okay, now, I'm going to pray a prayer out loud, and I want you to pray it after me, sentence by sentence. But bear in mind, you are not praying to me. <laughs> You're praying to the baptizer, the Lord Jesus Christ. And I will cause you to say those things which qualify you as a thirsty person coming to him. And when you've said the final word, we'll say amen. So you know to stop praying. Now, after that, don't do any praying. Okay, what do you do? You begin to drink, all right? You don't need to gasp, just quietly take in the Spirit of God. Shut yourself in with the Lord. Forget there are any other people here. And then there's that moment of faith when you begin to release the new language. Some of you are right ready to do it right now. You've got to break the sound barrier. You don't need to shout. You don't need to scream. But you need to say it loud enough to hear yourself so that when you walk out of this place, you know you've heard yourself speak with other tongues, with another tongue. Okay? All right. Remember, when we come to our men, no more English. No more Filipino, no more whatever it might be, Spanish. No more Chinese, no more Japanese. Mm, some unknown language. Okay. These are the words. Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are the Son of God and that on the cross you died for my sins and rose again from the dead. I trust you for forgiveness and for cleansing. I believe you have received me as a child of God. And because you have received me, I receive myself as a child of God. If there's any resentment in my heart now, any unforgiveness against anyone, I lay it down. I forgive every other person as I would have God forgive me. If I've ever been involved in the occult, I acknowledge that as a sin. I ask your forgiveness and I loose myself now from every contact with Satan and with occult power in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord Jesus, I come to you as my baptizer in the Holy Spirit. I present to you my body to be a temple of your spirit. I yield to you my tongue to be an instrument of righteousness, to worship you in a new language. By faith, I receive this now. And I thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now just begin to drink. Breathe in. Take it in. And then begin to speak out. When you speak, just open your mouth, move your tongue and your lips, and give him your voice. Many of you are ready to do it now. That's right. That's right. When your lips and your tongue are moving, give him your voice. That's right. You don't have to be ashamed that the Holy Spirit has come in. He's an honored guest. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's all stand to our feet and worship God together in tongues. Hallelujah. Indurulu bari alabas sari andaralabas.